3D printing technology is a new field that we're only just beginning to see the full potential of. Scientists have been able to 3D print a whole host of different objects for a while, but they're now able to build more sophisticated machines and produce even more remarkable things. From futuristic buildings to life-saving devices, there's seemingly no limit to the possibility of what 3D technology might be able to do for us in years to come, but here are the most exciting examples of it that already exist right here, right now. Back in 2016, a Chicago-based team of architects won a competition known as the Freedom Home Design Challenge, a contest to find out who could come up with the best design for a fully 3D printable home. Their design is dramatic, attractive, and unlike any other home we've ever seen before. It might look like something from a science fiction movie, but the technology that would allow this house to be built already exists. And there's nothing to stop them from going ahead and building one. Their eye-catching design is made from 3D printed panels of carbon fiber and plastic wrapped around a glazed shell. The proposed home, which has been nicknamed Curve Appeal, would be made in two halves, the interior core and the arching structure that encases and protects it. It might look like the sort of thing that should take architects and builders months to complete, but all of it can be printed quickly as a self-supporting cellular matrix, meaning the house could be assembled anywhere in the world with little manual assembly required. A final coating of spray foam and concrete will afford the structure some protection from the elements, and then the occupant can move in and start making the place their own. Dutch Design Week is always a major celebration for architects in the Netherlands, but in 2018 there was an object on display that made the celebration a little more special than all of those that had gone before it. It was the world's first ever fully 3D printed steel bridge. And it was more than just an exhibition piece. After the week was over, it was put into its permanent position over the canal in Amsterdam and is expected to be the first of many in the country. The bridge is the work of Joris Larman, who teamed up with the robotics company called MX3D to turn the design from a blueprint to a reality. The whole 40-foot long stretch of the bridge was put together by robots working with molten steel, acting under instruction from a computer. Its flowing design is the telltale sign of 3D printing, but despite its appearance, it's resilient enough to withstand a head-on collision with a boat. Given that it stands over a canal, that's a very important attribute. The bridge even comes with sensors that report back to the team who created it. So, many maintenance issues are flagged before they become a problem. In the 21st century, we're experimenting more with our diets than our generations who came before us. Vegetarianism, veganism, and pescatarianism are all a lot more common than they used to be, mostly because people are increasingly uncomfortable about the idea of killing animals for food. Could 3D printing meat be the answer to that problem? And if it was, would you eat it? The astronauts on the International Space Station do. An Israeli company called Alpha Farms has succeeded in creating a 3D printing machine that can extract cells and blood from cow tissue, combine those cells with nutrients and hormones, and then rapidly multiply the cells. That results in a plentiful supply of meat without harming a single animal. Astronauts are still printing meat in space right now as you read this. The technology isn't capable of creating mass-produced meat at the moment, but with a few more years of research and development, there's no reason why it won't be. If it looks, smells, and tastes like the meat you're used to, why wouldn't you use it instead of the real thing? There must be a lot of promising work going on in the field of 3D printing in Israel at the moment because as well as 3D printed meat, Israeli scientists have also come up with the world's first ever 3D printed heart a breakthrough that could one day be the difference between life and death for people with heart problems. The tiny heart was unveiled to the world in April 2019 and has been made to scale as an example of what will be possible in the future rather than what's possible right now. In theory though, 
This little heart, grown from human cells, can perform every function that the heart you were born with can. To make the heart, the scientists extracted fatty tissue from a patient, converted the tissue into stem cells, combined them with a patented gel, and then turned into heart cells. Those cells were then fed into a printer as a type of bio-ink and built up layer after layer into the shape of a heart. Because the heart can be made with a patient's own cells, the chances of the body rejecting the organ, as can sometimes be the case with donated hearts, are minimal. One of the criticisms that have been leveled at 3D printing is that although it's incredibly sophisticated, the fact that most of the building work is done with plastic means that it isn't environmentally friendly. A company called Emerging Objects, based in California, USA, is attempting to change that. They're working on making 3D printed objects from wood, salt, and clay. And in 2015, they came up with this potentially revolutionary cool brick. The porous brick allows building to cool down naturally without needing any air conditioning. Mostly made from clay, the bricks are set in mortar and absorb water through a sponge-like lattice. The water then evaporates and cools the interior of any building made from the interlocking bricks. The design was inspired by ancient porous ceramic vessels, which were used for keeping food and drink cool in hot climates hundreds of years ago. The honeycomb-like structures that the bricks would create when put together might take some getting used to but they'd put an end to the complaints of 3D printing being bad for the environment. We've already seen 3D printing technology being used to design a home earlier on in this video, but sometimes emergencies arise and people need temporary shelter because they're unable to use their own homes or they don't have anywhere to stay. In circumstances like that, it would be great if an emergency shelter could be created almost instantly. And now, thanks to 3D printing, it's possible to do it. A team based at France's University of Nantes stunned the world in 2015 by creating an emergency house in just 30 minutes. Using a machine called the InnoPrint, the device's robotic arm can build a polyurethane shape covering 10 square feet and resilient enough to remain standing for up to six months. Hopefully, nobody would ever need to stay in one for that long, but people in disaster zones will one day be very grateful for this incredible piece of French research and engineering. The team is still hard at work now, hoping to create a larger shelter that can still be built in around the same amount of time. We head over to England for this new remarkable feat of three-dimensional construction. In 2018, researchers from the country's Newcastle University announced they had successfully created the world's first 3D printed artificial cornea. This promising development has the potential to save or restore the sights of millions of people all around the world. The university's printers have generated a biocompatible corneal framework using a gel formula that's stiff and resilient enough to keep stem cells alive, but malleable enough to pass through the nozzle of a printer. There's a global shortage of corneas available for transplants, which means that people who've suffered eye injuries or diseases of the eye can be kept waiting years for a donor to be found. And that's only if a donor can ever be found at all. Using corneal stromal cells, scientists can take one donor cornea and combine it with collagen and alginate to produce several living corneas. That means one donor will be able to help dozens of recipients instead of a single one. The technology that drives virtual reality experiences had been advanced rapidly in recent years, but it's missing one crucial component. No matter how convincing the 3D images of a VR headset can present you with might be, they're still unsubstantial because you can't touch them. Very soon, that might change. A Japanese company called Moran's has been making fast progress with 3D haptics technology, allowing users to experience the sensation of touching the objects that they can see through their headsets. Not only can users get a sensation of an object's texture and weight through special gloves, but they can also push, pull, and even throw objects. 
The effect is achieved through a series of vibrations that passes through the gloves, tricking the brain into believing that what the eyes can see is actually real. While there are obvious benefits for entertainment, for example, allowing users to play a virtual piano, there are also more practical applications such as enhancing the 3D modeling process for builders and designers. They say that a dog is a man's best friend. But would you feel the same way about your pet dog if it was robotic? We're not talking canine from Doctor Who here. We're talking a 3D printed robot dog that one day you might be able to own in the real world. This is Astro, a robot dog created by the Florida Atlantic University in the USA. Aside from being able to move independently, this mechanical canine uses advanced artificial intelligence, cameras, and microphones to allow it to see, hear, and think. All of the computing power is contained within Astro's head, exactly where the brain should be. Astro may look cute, but he was designed for use by the police, who can use him to detect weapons and drugs and perform many of the same crime scene duties as a living, breathing dog can. Rather than being pre-programmed, Astro learns from experience. Since his creation in mid-2019, he started to recognize different colors, see and understand hand gestures, comprehend several different languages, and even recognizes other dogs and attempt to befriend them. Putting rockets into space is a complicated and expensive business, so anything that can reduce the burden in terms of cost or labor can only be a good thing. Nobody knows that better than NASA. So it's no surprise to see that they've turned to 3D printing to help them build and design the rockets of the future. The American Space Agency has been using a method known as selective laser melting, which is very similar to 3D printing, to create parts for its brand new space launch system. This is the technology that will hopefully one day put the first human being onto the surface of Mars. The purpose-built NASA printers can take a metallic powder and melt it using a computer-driven high-energy laser, allowing the molten material to be shaped in any fashion that suits NASA's needs. It allows for one-piece cohesive parts to be built, taking the place of parts that in the past would have needed to be welded together or secured in place using nuts and bolts. The fewer nuts and bolts and separate pieces there are in the process, the less potential there is for anything to go wrong. Work on the project began in 2012 and entered the testing phase in 2017. The potential for 3D printing when it comes to design and creation of artificial limbs and prosthetics is obvious. The technology allows us to design limbs for a specific wearer rather than creating general use parts that might not be a perfect fit, and therefore, become abrasive or uncomfortable for the wearer. A European company recently took a big step forward in this field, and we mean step literally. The company is called Volumental, and they've come up with a new system that can take detailed 3D scans of feet in mere seconds. That allows medical specialists to design a prosthetic foot based on the design and therefore allow the wearer to have a new foot that matches and mirrors their existing foot in every way. It's also good news for the footwear companies. With technology like this, the one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to shoe sizes might soon begin to be a thing of the past. Within seconds, you could have your foot precisely measured and then another machine can 3D print a perfectly proportioned shoe for you. If we told you that someone had designed a fully functional 3D pen, you would probably wouldn't be too excited. After all, pens are already three-dimensional. If they weren't, you wouldn't be able to pick them up and write with them. The 3D pens we're talking about are a little different though. Not only are they three-dimensional, but they also write and draw in three dimensions. This is the Three Doodler, a pen created by the team of Daniel Cowan, Maxwell Bogue, and Peter Dilworth. It works a little like a glue pen, heating up the substance inside it to create a hard material that can be used to make shapes and structures. As soon as the material exits the pen, it cools and hardens, 
For artists who have the right skills, this is a pen that could be used to create a whole sculpture out of nothing, without having to design it on paper first. The substance inside it is made from a combination of potato and corn, so it's environmentally friendly. We can't decide if it's a flashy toy or a serious design tool, but it's highly impressive either way. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.